right, to get started, you guys are going to head on over to Streamlabs.com's dashboard. I will have the link in the description for you below. Once you're on the Streamlabs dashboard, go ahead and click on All Widgets. Once you're on the All Widgets page, go ahead and click on Chat Box. All right, once you're on the Chat Box page, it's time to set up your chat box. First, you're going to select which theme that you'd like. You have five to choose from. Once you've selected your theme, you can now select which badges will show up next to each person's name. You could select subscriber badges, Twitch Prime badges, also moderator badges and bit badges as well. Next, you can add extra emotes into your chat if you have set up better TTV or 7TV or Franker Faces. Go ahead and select the box right next to each one. You can go ahead and skip background color because as noted here, the background color is for preview purposes only. It won't even show on your streaming software. Next, you could select the color of your text in which you would want it to show up. Keep in mind that selecting a text color white or black will blend in with the color of your game and will be harder for you to read on your screen overlay. Once you've selected your text color, you can now select your font size. Your font size is how large the letters will be on your screen overlay. Next is the option to hide your messages after a period of time. This is important for when your chat is slow, so you don't want to show the same chat messages on your screen for too long. It'll make it look like your stream is dead or your chat is dead. You don't want either of those. So what you want to do is deselect always show messages, and then you want to set it to a duration on which the messages will disappear after a certain amount of time. Next is the option to adding chat delay. You can add anywhere is up to six seconds of chat delay, meaning if somebody types something, you'll see it first, and then six seconds later, everybody in your chat will see it. It'll give you six seconds to be able to delete something, just in case you've got somebody that's being a nuisance in your chat, or if you have a real active chat and you just need time to moderate. If you'd like to disable animated emotes, you can right here. And then also you can hide bot commands right here. So if you have any night bot commands, stream element commands, or stream lab commands, you can hide them all here by just selecting the box. And then you have the option to add muted chatters and you can actually add banned words yourself as well. And then the final option is to add custom HTML. If you're a coder, just click enable and then you're able to adjust the code manually right there. When you're done, go ahead and click save settings. Now it's time to add it to OBS. Go ahead and scroll back up to the top of the page. And under here where it says click to copy widget URL, just click the copy button right here. You'll be prompted with a warning message to remind you not to share this copied link with anybody. Go ahead and click copy. All right, once you're in OBS, what you're going to want to do to add your chat is go ahead and click the plus sign under sources and then select browser. Select create new and name it chat overlay. Then select OK. Under URL, we're going to paste the URL that we just got from Streamlabs dashboard. Then select OK. Once you've added your chat overlay, we can now test it out. Go ahead and open up your Twitch chat and type in a test. If the text is too small, you just head back to the Streamlabs dashboard and adjust the font size. Make sure you select Save Settings when you're done. Once you've got all of your chat settings proper, now it's time to adjust the size of your chat box so we can set it proper on your stream overlay. Go ahead and double click chat overlay. What I'm going to do is make my chat box the exact same as my webcam box. So I'm going to adjust the width until I get close to the right size. And then I can just kind of like right there now down here on the sources i'm going to take my chat overlay and i'm going to put it under my camera that way my camera is on top of the chat so i could slide this chat underneath the camera right here so you can now see that as people type it kind of just goes up behind the webcam now and then every 30 seconds the chat disappears instead of staying stagnant also you could see that one of my Nightbot commands just popped up and it did not show in here because we have it selected properly in the Streamlabs dashboard. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to add chat overlays to your live streams. If this video helped you out at all, don't forget to leave a comment, smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see y'all next time. And remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.